so Ulexander Vosik is uh, coming out right now before his matchup with David Benavidez on June 1st. And uh, he's answered some questions about Bitter Biv and uh, versus Bivol. And he has some words to say about Dimitri Bivol's um, ascension into, I guess, pound for pound and different things like that for him being considered a top fighter in the world. Uh, Vosik feels like it's premeditated. He feels like a lot of it's come from just the Canelo win. Feels like a lot of fans and media are putting too much stock in the guys with one win. You know, that sounds familiar. You know, I've said that. You know what I'm saying? I've definitely said that uh, recently. You know, not as far as Bivol, not um, his one win. I'm not saying as far as Bivol, I'm talking about overall in Boston. But uh, Bivol has multiple wins as far as big wins. So I think Vosa is not basically focusing on the other wins more so than he is the Canelo win. I think in his mind, and just me, this is from my uh, uh, opinion, I feel like uh, Vos is definitely thinking from the standpoint of that attention wasn't there before the Canelo fight. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he's kind of thinking of. He's thinking of that uh, Vivo's got a lot more glory from that uh, Canelo win than he did other wins. So that's why he's looking at it at a, at a certain way now as if the fans aren't really considering that Canelo was a smaller guy, and he doesn't feel like that proves that he's a top guy in the division, according to what Vo how Vosa looks at it. He doesn't look look at it as okay, he's the top of the division and he's uh, the top guy and this and this. He feels like uh, Bivol's not too far from what everybody else is. You know what I'm saying? So. But he's definitely um, right about how people do take certain wins and try to ascend somebody up. I mean, certain wins will do that when you're beating the best. But with the circumstances, I understand what he's saying. But he, he has to realize, though, everyone gets their credit these days when it comes to certain things. You know what I'm saying? But I understand also he feels like a lot of people don't get credit for certain things. You know, if you go down, he feels like probably his mind, he can go down and be the 68 right now too. Is he going to get credit for pound for pound? So, and a lot of fans, they can argue with that. But Volsic, he's a professional. He's been doing this a lot longer than they have. And uh, no, he's not bitter or things like that. He, he actually has a lot of facts to back up what he's saying. From what I've seen, he actually has a lot of facts that can bag up his assessment of everybody that's uh, in the division. And you got to take basically his information. He's already been in the ring with uh, a, a couple of guys at, at the top level. <laughs> so what are we talking about? And he's up for an intern uh, belt right now. So he's definitely trying to take that next uh, spot and step in. I definitely feel like Vos has put himself in a position where he can uh, do some different things. But he has to show up and uh, defeat David Benavidez. Because, because if he doesn't defeat, defeat uh, Benavidez, a lot of what he's talking about right now wouldn't, wouldn't really matter uh, as far as Bivol not being at a certain level because all of these guys will basically be fighting in the same month. So gonna have a chance to possibly fight a guy like Bibble. If Bibble comes out here and defeats uh, Bitter Bib, we'll, we'll have a position then where he can jump in and possibly fight these guys. But right now, I don't see a lot of people um, trying to jump in the ring with certain certain people right now. Just from what I've seen. I mean, until they prove it in certain situations, I believe it, but a lot of these guys are not trying to get in the ring right now. A lot of them is not trying to get in the ring. They have a lot of things they got to bring to the table. And Bozic knows um, that certain people aren't ready. He knows that certain people aren't ready to do certain things, but he got to he, he gotta also know that he got to be ready. That's why I said this year, everybody's on everybody's on alert this year. It's just not Bivol's on the situation where, oh, yeah, he got to prove himself. Nah, he got to prove himself. You got to prove yourself. A lot of people got to prove themselves this year. 
That's what a lot of these dudes don't realize. A lot of you people got to prove yourself. This ain't going to be an easy situation where you're just going to be in and out and everything going to be peaches and cream. They definitely got to um, separate themselves this year. And Vozik knows that um, Vivo still has... Vivo can easily go out here and lose and everybody will say, oh, well, that was just Canelo he beat, but the guys his size, he really couldn't do nothing with. Even though he's been beating guys a long, a long time. So you got guys in the division that feel the same way. Um, now, if he goes out there and have a better fight than Vozik, they're going to say a lot. I'm telling you that right now. He goes out there. He go out there and do that. He go, it's going to be a lot, man. So, I don't know, man. It's a thin line because, because when guys make certain comments about certain fighters and they have common opponents, man, you got to do a way better job than that, la than that last guy did. If not, that's going to be uh, bad on your reputation. You better do a lot better than that last guy did. That's all I'm going to say. You definitely got to do a lot better than the last guy. I think that's that's mostly what uh, I would say in that situation as far as with Bivol and Vozit, but but those are definitely going to uh, do a better job with um, the situation he's in because he knows his back against the wall right now, and he has a lot to prove. Uh, he got to go in there and basically show everybody that Benavidez can't handle him because he got to fight a guy like Benavidez and possibly a Bilbo or a Benavidez. So Bilbo is still a possibility for him, so anything can happen in boxing, but he's trying to let it be known that he don't feel like certain guys is uh, at that level. But if Bilbo goes out there and last 12 rounds with Bitter Bill, it'll put a lot of things in perspective. But we're going to see, though. It's going to definitely uh, tell a lot about this division. I just wanted to throw that information out there because um, a lot of guys are definitely mentioning other things about other boxers um, not being qualified, not being at that level. But they got harder challenges, too. Bitter Vita is not going there to lay down against, uh, against Vosa. So it's, it's going to be a hard fight. But uh, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.